channel Pinmi Times. Myself Vina Surbu, creative director and also a holistic healer. When you overview your life from the peak of your consciousness, everything that is, was, and could be shall make sense. And we have with us a wonderful guest, Atman Power. Atman Parmar is the founder of Radical Insights, a copyrighted curriculum for finding answers, directions, solutions, and guidance from and through our subconscious mind. She is also a consciousness coach. Her background of a practitioner of homeotherapy and hypnotherapy has helped her in mastering the mind management for personal, professional, social, and spiritual growth. She is the author of two books, Quest for, the, for a Guru and Radical Crystalline Mind. She is also a consciousness coach, corporate trainer, mind and metaphysics experts. Her philosophy, writing, coaching, and consultation inspires you to find all your answers, solutions, direction, and guidance from and through your subconscious mind. With this, I welcome Atman Power. Thank you for uh, coming to Pyramid Times, Atman. Thank you, Veena. Thank you, Nitya. And we have with us uh, Nitya Chalam also. She is a holistic healer, IT professional, and also a mother and a best-selling author as well. And uh, uh, welcome, Nitya. Thank you, Veena. So today our topic is on minor chakras. Atman herself has channeled a lot of minor chakras apart from major chakras and we will be getting more insights from Atman itself. And over to you Nitya. Thank you Meena. So um, I would like to welcome Atman uh, here today and I'm so grateful that she's here. She's, my, she's one of my mentors and very close to my heart. So when I started my journey, she's been one of those forces who's enlightened me, guided me been there for me. I still remember one conversation I had with her where I said, uh, should I quit my job? Should I do a healing? And she said, you're so talented. Why would you not uh, start healing? And, you know, it just cleared uh, a lot of inner children for me, you know, a few words of her. And I'm so grateful to whatever she's been in my life. And would like to start with adding a radical healing, which has been completely channeled and founded by Atman. is one of the most amazing healing methodologies which has given me a lot of insights as to what my subconscious is thinking and just by changing my thinking, how my life has turned around. And I would attribute that uh, to Atman and how she, she has introduced that to my life. So with that, I would like to welcome her here today uh, to be here. And I'm sure we're going to have an amazing conversation with her. So we're going to start with um, you, Atman ma'am, as to what was your inspiration to work more on chakras and to study more on chakras? Nithya, uh, chakras fascinated me always. Uh, my first uh, beginning was with Reiki and that's when I was introduced to chakras. And then essentially in those days, seven major chakras. Minor chakras just came by the way. I had not thought of, I had not planned. I was just sitting and meditating um, and suddenly a voice starts talking to me. I have been intuitive, um, I've done the, my exams, studies a lot uh, and a lot of pro projects I've taken up purely based on this intuitive guidance. But this particular chakra knowledge was a little new to me. So five chakra information was given and I was just wondering what to do with that. Even that was given. I had no idea that from those five chakras it will become a curriculum um, back way back around uh, say 13 14 years back when it all started and gradually it started increasing as people started asking questions I started answering and some people started making notes and then it became a curriculum so it was practically continuous for me worked out yeah so we we should before even we do too much of bad bad with chakras we should even talk about chakras what are the chakras because a normal public won't even know what chakras are if we know what chakras are so let me take so. what exactly are chakras? chakras are energy centers in strategic places or strategic parts of the body uh, where the energy seems to be flowing in a whirlpool-like fashion. 
Now, our physical body is soaked in energy field, uh, and this energy field is called aura. We all know that. The aura moves in and out of the physical body because our physical body is like that sponge which is soaked in the pool of energy. However, there are some strategic places where the energy flows in a whirlpool-like fashion. If you've seen a top-loading washing machine in action, you would have seen those ripples. So those ripples actually create the momentum of energy. So our chakras create this momentum of energy and absorbs this energy in our body um, and that's one of the reasons why people when they're fasting uh, still they feel highly energetic so we have several chakras in our body seven major chakras a lot of healers know about that and uh, there are a few minor chakras not just few i think there are minor chakras in every organ every muscle every tissue every joint i have studied uh, more than 250 chakras and create uh, elaborate detailed notes and they're amazingly helpful and insightful to know a lot of information guidance and solution and directions that's so nice to hear ma'am yeah so many people know about these uh, major chakras, but I heard about these minor chakras from radical consciousness and it, it thrilled me to see how many chakras are over the body and my understanding is we're still discovering more. So where do these uh, minor chakras help us and uh, why do we need them when there are major chakras already available? So major chakras work on seven major um, glands of the body and through that, acts on our physiology major chakra is like a central pillar you know and our life is around that now how radical uses this chakras let me explain to you that first and then i'll explain to you how minor chakras are important so uh, every time you have a thought which is not in alignment which is incorrect has a tendency to get lodged in various chakras. You don't need uh, expensive softwares like aura photography or you know different tools to tell you about chakras. Every time you felt choked in your thro throat or you felt those butterflies or you know some sensations in your third eye or heart, know that your chakras are getting affected or there are energy shifts in your chakras. Now, why and when does this energy shift come? It is because a lot of thoughts have a tendency to get lodged in your energy space, mainly chakras. And thoughts are very specific in choosing which chakras. So seven major chakras have a very generalized thought pattern. So like uh, effect of uh, communication, right? Or um, say, uh, issues related to control we know okay fine that's about solar but control what so if it is a power game is it a helplessness is it a powerlessness is it a fast tediousness the space control all that is specifically correct connected and collected by minor chakras so when major chakras are affected you know the generalized thought pattern and when minor chakras are affected, you know precisely specific thought pattern which is not working with you. And that's why it helps you to correct those thought patterns provided you can catch those chakras and understand how those chakras are working. So some of the chakras which are not working will tell you exactly this particular thought was not right for you or this is how you need to work with this particular thought. So those answers you get in much more precise way with the knowledge of minor chakras. So that's a main advantage, of course, there are many other advantages. That is so amazing. So specifically knowing uh, what thinking in you is causing a problem, right? Right, right. Because radical consciousness itself uh, goes by the tagline the art of thinking right and you know it's based on the principle that um, 
whatever you think becomes your life so how can you change your thinking to change your life which is so amazing so can you talk more about how exactly radical works so i would say there are three steps one is identifying modifying and amplifying so i'm going to explain to you three words so what's important is identifying which thought is good for you and which thought is not working for you now it's very easy to say think positive be positive but what is positive you know one thought could be positive for one person and it may not be positive for somebody else so what's positive for you because a positive thought is the one which is aligned with your life plan life purpose you know your being so you need to identify that particular thought which is either not working for you or working for you if it is working for you you can amplify it if it is not working for you you just simply have to modify it appropriately and um, in known language i would say design the right affirmation but that is different from positive affirmation positive affirmation would be uh, for example i am happy but chakra based affirmation would be i deserve to be happy or it would be i take charge of my happiness you know based on which chakras are affected so the chakra gives us the clue while designing the affirmation and precise on dot affirmations which works like magic so identifying the thought process which is either working or not working based on that modifying if needed and then amplifying so it's a three step process that we follow for radical but before that we also um, recommend that you clear the clutter of your subconscious mind and that's what we teach initially in level 1 because if you do not clear the clutter the identification gets little delayed or slow and after identification modification and amplification you streamline the story system and then connect to your super conscious mind for further direction guidance and solution and i believe we all have all answers solutions guidance and even healing powers within provided you remain aligned to that and that's what we teach that that is so amazing going uh, to the power of within and i have experienced it so many times cuz i have learned radical consciousness i facilitate radical consciousness and i've seen it work on me and so many other people but in coming back to a even more basic question and the way you explained it and i've heard it from you has been amazing so i i would really like our viewers to hear it what is uh, healing actually what is what is healing ha ah, that's important see healing is different for different people nitya uh for a person who's at the basic level of consciousness you know like the, the survival level of consciousness for them it is all about life and death and uh, fixing enough at a material level physical level uh, that's it okay healing who are at sacral chakra level consciousness where they are vacillating between pleasure and pain for them healing is going from painful conditions of life to pleasurable conditions of life for people who are stuck at solar level or whose consciousness is at solar level for them healing is fixing controlling no people who are at heart chakra level for them healing is all about forgiving loving opening up to the experience of love streamlining relationships and making relationships work people at throat chakra level for them healing is all about all about uh, enhancing your self confidence self belief feeling okay about yourself that is very important for them and people with the third eye chakra level the idea is to align to the vision and people at the crown level the healing is all about being one with god one with universe so healing is different for different people based on the level of consciousness you are at however having said that if i have to define for everyone i would say healing is an experience of feeling whole 
and complete. Actually, the thesaurus meaning is uh, Haley. It's a German word from there, it came to English word and finally heal, healing, health, all those words are derived. So it's, it goes back to the feeling of being whole and complete. And when you are whole and complete, you are naturally in touch with that which is whole and complete. So for me, the healing is that experience which makes you in bliss, whole, complete, and puts you in touch with that which is whole and complete. And when we are aligned to that which is whole and complete, the healing naturally happens. We don't have to fix, we don't have to do anything, just that alignment facilitates healing. So that's healing all about for me. So that's uh, so wonderful, Atman. So you are uh, speaking about super consciousness also. So will radical help us to elevate our own consciousness? Is it that only healing or? So, um, you know, Veena, have you driven a car or have you been in a car which is driven by, G I mean, with the help of GPS? Yes, yes. Where Okay, so we all have this personalized GPS available to us, you know, which systematically guides us whether to go right, left, forward, slow down, there's a traffic ahead, birds have that, animals have that, okay. When there are natural calamities, the birds know how to take them, make them safe, you know, animals know where to go and you know protect themselves we also have it however we often block these gps signals available to us and that's one of the reasons we need to reconnect to that personalized gps that's nothing but the super conscious mind you know we most of us operate only from the conscious mind because when you're conscious, you're not even in touch with the subconscious. Only during the crisis or during the sleep, the subconscious mind takes over. How about just learning to connect to the subconscious mind? And our subconscious mind is connected to the superconscious mind. How about bridging the conscious mind with the subconscious mind, with the superconscious mind, it's not about either and or situation. When your conscious mind is in alignment with the subconscious mind and the superconscious mind, you are in perfect integrity. And when you're in integrity, you can uh, be super functional. And it's completely possible to do that uh, with a few techniques and a little bit of practice. Yeah, that's so amazing. So uh, the next question is, you know, it's, it's so nice to hear about super consciousness, but can you tell our view viewers what is the advantage of being super conscious? What is that offer to us? So the life without uh, connective, conscious connectivity with super consciousness and with super consciousness is the difference the same as the vehicle being driven without GPS or with GPS. Yeah. So there is an ongoing assistance available. Not only that, there's also a lot of resources which are available to you in terms of understanding, insights, knowledge, uh, and whatever resources you need for that matter is easily available when you are constantly connected to the super consciousness, the greatest advantages. If you, you, if you have an overview of your life from the point of view of super consciousness, none of your problems ever appear to be like a problem because now you can see a bigger picture. And when you can see a bigger picture, everything seems to be falling in place like pieces of puzzles and life doesn't puzzle you anymore. Even under the worst situation, you can have an overview of your life and understand the brilliance and the whole design, which will not 
trouble you, bother you, or upset you anymore. You will be able to see the larger picture when you are in touch with the super consciousness. Most of our troubles are because we have short sighted. You know, we understand only this much, and that this much gives us the trouble. When you see a bigger picture, suddenly you see, oh my God, what I thought was just a fiction of the problem. But then there's a whole thing which is so beautiful. So connecting to the super consciousness gives you an overview of life. And that makes your life so amazing, beautiful, predictable, easy, effortless, and a lot of fun. And also worth living. I loved it when you said, uh, life will not puzzle you anymore and all the pieces oh. will fall in place. Yeah. That was like so it. you can see through the whole game, you know, like, and it's easier. Yeah. And and uh, life is actually simple, guys. If you do, if you feel life is too complicated, you should try out the Radical Twist Line book or Radical Healing. It will you know, push you to understand how simple and effortless life can be. One of the mantras of radical consciousness I remember is life is simple, easy, and effortless. If you allow it to. Yeah, I have been attending uh, radical uh, crystalline mind classes and also essential radical healing. I could see people transforming their uh, long, uh, dr I mean, driven problems or whatever it is. Even physical pains, sometimes they are uh, relieving uh, of them. And it works so effortlessly. Even I have uh, talked to a few people who had uh, sleep issues also. And just by using the affirmations Nitya has given through radical consciousness, uh, they are having better sleep and that anxiety, everything got relieved because of this. Yes. So if you design an affirmation based on your general larger life plan and a specific affirmation, See, having a broader vision and then narrowing down to a specific thought is an art. And if you master that, your life is amazing. No, it's like yeah. knowing the micro and macro together. Most people are in touch with either micro or macro. How about integrating the macro and micro? So micro, you know it through chakra knowledge. And macro, you know when you go beyond your own consciousness, known consciousness, and connect to the super consciousness and integrate it to make your life easy, effortless, simple, and a lot of fun. A lot of fun. That is so true. So, Atman, there's uh, another amazing thing about uh, radical crystalline mind or radical healing is you have information about 350 chakras as to which body part means what. How did you even uh, come by, like? Okay, this knee means inflexibility. This ankle means inner strength. How did we put all those? Uh, how, how did you put all those together to tell us which body part is telling us which thought is yeah, working? Or not working? I think it's just pure gift. So it's come more like a channel knowledge um, from, you know, if if I can talk in local language or common language, it's come through thin air. Okay. If I talk about metaphysical language, yes, it's a channel knowledge started with uh, Sri Lahiri Mahashaya. He gave you chakras to begin with and that to should the Sanskrit Hindi, I had to actually open the dictionary and understand some of the words and uh, translate them into English. So first five chakras which had come, I said, what do I do with this? So he said, I'm going to teach you and he also gave me the methods to do that. And that day, a few of the students gang, they came and whatever I got in my channeling, I applied. Somebody's cold got all right. He had running nose and just stopped. Somebody's knee pain became all right. And I said, this is magic because, uh, you know, I'm coming from a medical part and I haven't seen even medicines working so fast. I said, just few words and people are up and about. How could this be so easy? Like, you know, it was pretty exciting. So I went uh, to my center and everybody were curious when I shared. So they started asking questions. So that's how the whole knowledge started getting compiled. But that's not enough. After that, coming from a medical side, I have a tendency to clinically verify. So every chakra I clinically verified. So 
you know, the chakras related to knees or shoulders or this, that. So coming, uh, you know, because I have so many uh, students and student based and clients and all. So whoever would call up, what happened? I have this pain, that pain, and then I would um, study the related chakra and I would design an affirmation and give them that will give me further endorsement. So every chakra I clinically tested, compiled, evolved, and refined it further because this knowledge that comes is not necessarily verbal English refined language. You know? It comes sometimes in Sanskrit, sometimes in Hindi, sometimes just pictures and metaphors. And then you have to infer and apply and work it out on top of it. I studied aura photography and correlated that with aura photography and that consolidated my knowledge with much more confidence. So designed a software which matches the intuitive knowledge and gives a visual evidence and that gave me further confidence uh, much more. It is so amazing to hear that uh, everything started from channeling and how easy you make it sound. It is it is in very easy modality, simple, but yeah. really if the amount of information in the books and the classes is like is like really amazing. There's a lot of information, yet simple. So thank you so much for sharing um, that with us and the whole world giving us this wonderful modality which by which changing one of your thoughts you can see how your whole life changed. so would you like uh, to share with our viewers a bit more about these minor chakras any material or any any more information you sure uh, so uh, this is the core essence of radical healing part of it okay healing uh, is one of the ways to connect to the super consciousness when we are completely cluttered, disturbed, devastated, it's very difficult to connect to the super consciousness. So now uh, here we go. Um, a negative thought creates negative emotions, which in turn blocks the energy and generates negative manifestations. And a positive thought creates positive emotions and which enhances the flow of energy and you get positive manifestation. Now negativity and positivity are pretty subjective. So negativity for one person can be positivity for somebody and positivity for someone can be negativity for other people. And hence, um, what is negative for you or what is positive for you? only you can decide based on your energy experiences. Now, another way to decide the negativity and positivity would be to assess the energy flow in your chakras, which can be detected with the pendulum or through aura photography. And there are many other techniques that we teach. I'm going to also show you another slide now um, where I will show you the chakras. Now we have um, chakras in different parts of the body. I'll, I'll... So here's the diagram of the face chakra. Can you see we have around 46 chakras on the face itself. Same way we have uh, chakras on hands. We also have chakras on palms, back. There are plenty of such chakras uh, that we can study and understand say let me show you the chakras that we have on torso no? so plenty of such chakras and each chakra has a specific thought process so when we can detect the chakras uh, not working very well probably we can detect why probably certainly we can detect the thought process with precision and that's how we can alter the thought process. When we alter the thought process, we calm our mind, still our mind. And when we still our mind, we can connect to the superconscious mind. So that's the way we go about. And uh, the additional effect is making our life work for us. So relationships can get streamlined. Your finances can get streamlined. Your health gets streamlined and these thoughts 
and this chakras teach you to think right all the time yes so i do see when we are working with radical consciousness uh, there is no getting into trance as such unlike other modalities here we consciously connect to subconscious and super consciousness and it's a like playful way we sometimes wonder on the scale of 0 uh, to 10 we see the pain it could be at 7 9 also sometimes it uh, goes back to zero and people can't believe whether it has uh, uh, completely gone sir and uh, it never returns also uh, it's uh, sometimes people get into oh wow is it possible that kind of states also i have experience uh, when undergoing these classes it's uh, so profound and uh, you can as well share maybe few testimonials or critical cases that you would have handled oh my god that's difficult to decide because it's okay. almost, uh, every day every minute um, something or that that keeps happening the pains and aches anyway we now goes like magic provided right. it's a pain or ache when it doesn't really work is when uh, uh, there are structural changes so if there is an accident or bony growth or tumors or uh, you know surgical um, cases then it it does uh, take time or sometimes it is irreversible that's not what we're looking at I'm, I'm not here to boast. There was a time uh, coming from homeopathic background, there was a zest to fix everything. Today, it really doesn't matter. You know, why it doesn't matter is because all these illnesses, sicknesses are actually designed to drive you towards the super consciousness. So I've stopped even looking at those um, no. results because now today my attention is what is the consciousness trying to tell an individual or to me or to my colleagues through smallest disturbances right from cockroach infestations in the house to leaking taps to car not working to you know the, the iron man not coming on time you know there are small small issues of life which we we get so perturbed and disturbed with understanding and knowing radical all you have to do is just align your thoughts because somewhere all these problems tell you that you have deviated from the norms come back come back to the center be at peace again align your thoughts and everything else starts falling in place and that's what um, is the focus now rather than fixing peripheral stories here and there so peripheral stories get fixed anyway it's it's not a big deal uh, the testimonials i would give is um, uh, i wouldn't even say testimonials it looks like more of a boasting but most people find it uh, over a period of time i'm not saying just with one workshop but as they practice they remain much more calm much more peaceful much more composed they do not get triggered with minor stories and little traffic jam and little losses here and there and they take things in stride and look at the bigger picture they learn to figure out the brilliance not because uh, you know people have said that there is always a brighter side of everything they will know exactly the precise brilliance that they've had even in the seeming stories uh, so nothing really bothers or perturbs them as much uh, they can understand other human beings in much better way they can respond in much refined way and they start getting first of all understanding what is the life plan and life purpose and start remaining aligned and once they align rest of the resources and life uh, uh, situation starts easing out most people find a huge shift in their relationships finances and health and the greatest benefit fastest benefit is on the health because a little health issue here and there a small little aches and pains they know okay which thought was wrong and they just correct it so most of them even at a very senior age learn to lead practically pain-free life now because pain is the reminder that you need to pay attention and they've learned how to 
precisely pay attention to right thought process. That's that's the advantage of it. More than that, my senior students uh, have become very intuitive and very connected and they know what they are here for, why they are here and what they need to do. So the life becomes very simple. Then they stop uh, trying to do too many things and remain more focused on what they are here for, which becomes productive. So that's how it works. And testimonials, of course, you can read on the websites and it's yes. all on Facebook also on our page. There are plenty of them. And also I see a lot of uh, uh, hypnotherapists opting for this and also who practice energy uh, healing modalities, uh, they are taking it forward. And whoever that does extensive affirmative works, this is a very bang on kind of subject. It uh, works very effectively. Just uh, uh, it's not even a belief uh, by just uttering the affirmations you have provided the kind of words, uh, the uh, energy those ca uh, carry definitely is transformational. Yes. The beauty is, uh, you know what, uh, I feel uh, healing is a soul breathing experience, right? And you need to, as you give the regular bath to your body, you also need to cleanse your soul and mind. Now for that, you don't keep going to a professional all the time because if you have to do it every day, I'm not saying that they are useless, okay? You still go for old scrubbing. But after that, you have to take over, you have to take charge. So radical, the beauty of radical is everybody can practice. I have uh, children of my students who are even as young as five years, they, they practice radical and they practice much more easily and effortlessly. And I have even seniors and bedridden people who practice radical and find a great shift, even almost when they are at the fag end of the life and yet they feel the shift. So it's, it's a joy to watch all that. My last question is, I've heard from you about uh, life purpose and what does it mean aligning to your life purpose? How would that be? Okay, and so uh, we are the part of the whole, right? As um, you have your hair, you have your nose, you have eyes, you have mouth. Uh, yeah, and they are meant for a certain function, for a certain purpose. And that's why they are there, right? Same way, we have a role play in a larger scheme. And if we understand and perform as per the role play, everything works smooth. But if we reject that particular role play and go for something else, we are going to create a chaotic situation because somebody will have to step in in your role. Okay. There are always backup plans in place, but if you do not do what you're meant to do, there are repercussions. And you try and um, infringe or intrude in somebody else's role play, so there are going to be repercussions there. All this happens because most of us don't even know what we are here for. And even if you know, there is a lesser ex uh, acceptance because you always want to be like somebody else, undervaluing the purpose and a role that you are here for. Okay. So, as you connect to the super consciousness, you see the larger picture and you see precisely your position and your role play. And if you play the role that you are here for, and everybody plays the role that they are here for, everybody moves in the direction that they are meant to go to, or everybody maintains their pace and their lane, life can be so easy, effortless and smooth and amazing. So, that's one of the reasons it's so important to know your life purpose and to know your life purpose it's important to connect to the super conscious mind and we are all blessed with the capability and possibilities that is, that is so lovely to hear so viewers if you would like to be pain-free fearless align to your purpose have an amazing life learn how to respond you know you stop all those reactions but you just respond and live simple free and happy then radical consciousness is something you must explore and you can get in touch with atman for more details on how to get there and with that i would like to thank atman once again for being here thank you, thank you. and thanks to veena thank you and i'll hand thank it over you. to you Thank you, Atman. Thank you, Nidya. So we have all the details uh, below this video. Uh, Atman's Academy is Omnipresence Academy. 
and they do teach uh, wonderful courses. Anybody who want to get started, you can uh, uh, visit Atman's website. Thank you so much for today. A wonderful session. It uh, has opened up a lot of uh, other faculties that we have on how healing can be facilitated and all, how we can access uh, super conscious powers that all that are already inherent within us. Thank you so much, Atman. Thank, Thank you so you much, Nitya. Nitya. Thank you, Nitya. Mm -hmm. So we now, um, I went through the whole mission and vision of uh, Pyramid Times and it's so amazing. Rather than uh, choosing or saying that, you know, we all should be one. No, we all can be diverse. We all can complement each other if we play a role and come together as whole. And if we all do what we are meant to do, and if we all stand together, we can make a major difference, a positive shift in the world. So I would strongly recommend align to this vision. Pyramid Times is one such channel, one such initiative, which, can, which has a potential and a vision to make a major difference in people's life. Play your role be a part of it and make the most out of it. All the best. Thank you so much, Admin.